Hello. So today we're gonna show you some of the books, the Disney books we have. Um, there's a fair few. Yeah, we're gonna do this video in two parts. So this is part one. Uh, we have quite a fair amount of the sort of coffee table books, you know, sort of ones which you look through when you're having a coffee. And no. we have a couple of other books as well. Let's get into it. The first thing we have is quite a common book with a lot of people at the minute. It's quite a modern book. And it is the Disney book Ding. by Dorling Kingsley, whatever it's called. Is it, yeah, is it, is it Dorling? I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Whatever, you know the one. DK.com. You get the Brave whoop, film strip thing as well. I think our one is of some blurry trees. <laughs> we didn't get the best pick. No. It's a great book. It's got a really, I'm going to say, cut down, glimpse into sort of the creation of Walt Disney and the films he's done, uh, the uh, production studio's done. Um, going from the early classics right through to the games they've got out now that have been inspired from the films. Great book. And we bought it online, didn't we? Yes. The Book Depository. The Book Depository. The Book Depository, which I think is about £10. Yes, free delivery as well. Yeah. Free delivery at £10, and if you use Quizco, you get cash back to hey, do hey. that. The next book I bought Sean for Christmas last year, and then when we got the books out to do this video, I was like, oh no, I bought a book for Disneyland California, not Disney World. So we have bought the Disney World one as well, but it hasn't arrived yet. Oh well. So it's the Hidden Mickey's Disneyland California, but we'll That's get That's always an excuse. Yeah. Uh, that means we're gonna have, have to, to go. go. But yeah, so I've actually ordered the Disney World one. Yeah, so, so. that's on the way. But yeah, this this is going to be with us in the park, I'm guessing. Yeah, I just, I mean, I've, as we've never been to Disney World, I've, I've seen people do the whole hidden Mickey thing. I was like, well, I might as well have a little bit of a go. I mean, we're not going to go hardcore, but... We're going to go hardcore. We'll see. Uh, but I just thought it was quite a nice idea. The book, I think, was about seven ninety nine or something from Amazon. So it's just like, well, just go for it. When in Rome... Well, yeah, I'm going to assume that there are going to be quite a few queues when we go to Disney World, so keep myself busy. So the third book is probably another one which you would have seen quite a lot in other YouTube people's Disney halls, for instance. I know a lot of Disney World halls I've watched, I've seen this book. And it is the Walt Disney Autobiography. Is it Autobiography or Biography? It's Biography, an American original by Bob, Bob Thomas. Thomas. So... Yeah, Sean's reading it. I haven't read it. Sean is. I am such it. a slow reader, it's unbelievable. He's on chapter seven. I've read <laughs> him about three years ago. <laughs> I <laughs> I will read it. I just listen to audiobooks more. From what I have read, it's, an, it's a great book. It's It's got a couple of um, photographs and things in there as well, along with lots of words. Lots and lots of words. But from what I've read so far, it is great. You, you get to know a lot about Walt Disney, where he came from and sort of how he became the person he is. And it's just, it's really good, it's really good. And I will finish it. Mm. 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 So this one is the art of the Disney princess. It's, it's floating around on the internet, it's been out for quite a while. It's actually a really, really nice book. Um, I'll show you the back cover. This is a book full of different people's interpretations of the Disney princesses, all from either Disney interns or Disney artists themselves drawing the characters or taking photographs of the characters, the princesses, in different ways. It's a nice collection um, to see a variety of different styles. Yeah, I do like this book actually. It's one of those books where you just, it's not much, to, it's nothing to read, it's just a it's the look, best kind look of at the pretty pictures sort of book. Yeah, it's a nice one. If you, if you like the art behind the Disney films, then it's sort of a book you'd want to get if you just want to look at things yeah. and not learn so much, but just to, yeah, if you, because Sean's obviously a graphic designer, so he 
likes to look at pretty things. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it is very visual and it's just very nice. Uh, I think there's a couple of people that I follow on Instagram that actually appear in the book themselves when they interned as Disney artists. Jealous. The next books we were just actually do just browsing a charity shop and these books are not Disney at all. I mean, they're made by Walt Disney, but they are educational books. I mean, if they are, you read through them, you're like, oh, this is nothing to do with Disney whatsoever. But they were, I think they were £1.25 each from the British Heart Foundation. Yeah. And so we were just like, they're vintage. 1965. So they're quite, quite nice just to add to the collection. It's not something that we're going to, you know, sit down and read and learn about wheels and science. But it's just, they're just both quite nice sort of old fashioned sort of books. A child's first book of the world in which we live. They're, they're, yeah, educational books. Yeah, there's not so much, there's no, no pictures of Walt Disney, there's nothing to do with Disney World Lands or Paris or whatever you want to, you know, it's just literally about science and uh, wheels. wheels. <laughs> so, yeah, but they're quite nice, obviously, to get them from a charity shop, so, yeah. I, th I think they're, they're obviously created at that time where Walt Disney went down the route of education, where it was all like, and they've done Animal World, Life, like David Attenborough sort of thing. more, I think, are uh, the most recent yeah. of our collection. I saw these on Amazon, it's the Drawn to Life series. And I bought, I think I bought them off Amazon. No, I didn't. No. I bought them from Wor Wordery, which is a, another book website. And again, there's quite, you know, a decent price, and you also get the Quidco cashback. So the Quidco is directing my purchases <laughs> away from Amazon. You never do cashback. So, yeah, I do recommend using Quidco if you want to get cheaper deals. But the, these are great books. These are, um, yeah, well, so it says on her 20 Golden Years of Disney Masterclasses. So this is talking about how they develop their characters, how they make them real. It's not, again, it's not written by a Disney person whose name you would know. It's not by Walt Disney or anyone else Disney who you would think of your head who I don't know anyone of. It's by someone called Walt Stanchfield. Who was an animator and a, and a drawer and created some of the, you know, well-known characters. But they're just quite good. Obviously, it's, I, I can't draw to save my life, so. I like to look at these, but I'm hoping that maybe Sean might look through them and maybe think that it has some sort of inspiration. I did see some good reviews online actually about them. Someone had said they've been drawing for a long time and they read the first book and then they were, their drawing technique had changed for the better since they've read it. So I think they're just good. They're quite nice little books to add to the collection. It's just they're paperback. I thought they were hardback, so I was a bit disappointed that they were paperback, but they weren't too expensive actually for the size of them they are quite you know substantial books mm. i mean they're, they are literally they're great they are they're a step by step on how you create some uh, movement uh, your facial expressions any everything like that how they've created them in the disney films and you know throughout history it's sort of in these two books and it's yeah, a little gold mine this next one is one of my favorite books once again it's got very few words. It's got any words in it. It's got zero words in it, which <laughs> makes it great. I think it's one of the first ones I bought you as well. Yeah. It's nice because it's like, um, it's a Disney sketchbook. I said a Disney sketchbook. A Disney sketchbook. And it's the sort of material in the front is a sort of like a moleskin sketchbook would be. And it's pretty much, when you open it up, it's the paper sort of that hard, uh, card-esque paper. It's like, it were cartridge paper. <laughs> Like where someone's drawing. You feel like you've just picked up someone else's uh, sketchbook. Obviously it's not real sketches, they're prints, but it could, it could easily be someone's sketchbook that you've just found on the train or something. So could could you imagine <laughs> finding this on the train and it'd be real? It's a really nice book actually. If you do like the animation of Disney, I would really recommend this book. It's amazing. So it just looks so real. It looks like it someone's looks just great. drawn it. It's like someone's just had a bit of a, a, bit of a sketch in a book. But yeah, so the, the, these are all the sketches from the Disney artists from from all of the films, all culminated into one book, and it's great. It is literally, 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 literally just a great book just to pick up and have a look. If you're struggling to draw, if you do draw characters-wise and how they've got facial expressions, 
and, and just movements and how they form the characters, then I recommend it. This book. It's a good one. And the final book of this part of the book video, we have the fairest one of all. A lot of books have to know out on the front, I just realised. A lot of the books? Yeah. Why do you reckon that is? Well, because she's the first princess. Oh. Yeah. This is a pretty book, I like this one. Yeah. It's very feminine. I love it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great, obviously. Is it just about Snow White? Yes. Oh. That's why she's on the front. So basically, you, you, this is a book where you've got, you know, full page spread of scenery. It has got, it's got writing in it, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so it's got writing about where it all came from, I guess. Yeah. I haven't actually read any of these books. <laughs> I'll have to look <laughs> at the pretty pictures. So it talks about how they develop the characters, um, you know, the voice actors, the inspirations come there, which developed it, the early designs for Snow White, which yeah. look horrendous. It's, I mean, oh. <laughs> I, I mean, I know Snow White's not everyone's favorite Disney film, or people, it's not, I mean, it's not my favorite one either. It's, you know, the music isn't that great and the storyline is good, but it's a bit, it's not as magical, shall we say. But it's just obviously it's where it came from. The, you know, the whole, it's the first Disney proper full length film, yeah. isn't it? So. It's just a nice book to have, really, and it, like I said, the front cover does it justice more than anything, actually. And it does say how many dwarves were there supposed to be in, initially, initially. Uh, initially, there was about, <laughs> there's meant to be about 17 or, or something ridiculous, if I remember. It's just crazy how the dwarves could have looked. They're just awful. <laughs> Deffy. Deffy, you know, politically correct dwarves right there. Thank God they made the right decision and but. didn't go with Deffy. <laughs> But I know, I mean, it's a great book. You, you get to see how the animators, because you know, back in 1930s when they when they decided to go, hey, let's go make this film, they made it up, and that's what's the best thing about it. Hi. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, this is a great. This is just a great book to see the process, because obviously, nowadays, films just happen, and. There's not as in-depth way that they've reached the end product like they have with these. We do like this book, and if you do like, again, learning about the history of Disney and things like that, then I do recommend this one. Most of the books we've got from Amazon, and you know, unless we say otherwise, um, more recently I've been straying from Amazon, but most of them are just from Amazon. Yeah. And that's it for part one. The part two for this video will be uploaded soon, so keep your eyes out for that one. Till next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.